A girl walks home alone at night. Welcome back to another episode of Connor Lee's Chronicles. Today, since we're getting to the end of Spooktober and closer and closer to Halloween, we'll take a break from the history stories and talk about some movies. I would like to bring to your attention the coolest vampire movie you've probably never seen, the Iranian black and white masterpiece, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. Without spoiling the story, this film focuses on two characters living in the fictional bad city in Iran. Arash, a young man trying to make ends meet and care for his unfortunately drug-addicted father and the eponymous girl, a lonesome, hijab-wearing, skateboarding vampire who targets wicked men and protects the women of Bad City. It's a great film and one that I've loved for close to a decade, which makes me feel very old. I love context. Let's talk about some. A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, released in 2014, is very much a Western film and a Middle Eastern film. By Western, I mean both the Western world as well as the spaghetti Western. Its soundtrack, style of presentation, and its themes draw inspiration from the film noir and the cowboy movies that dominated mid-century cinema. It's also a vehicle for social commentary about the modern Middle East. It uses the vampire genre to address censorship restrictions and issues of gender inequality in modern day Iran. What better symbol for this than a female vampire that preys on those who harm women in a part of the world where women don't have the same liberties as men? I first watched this movie back in 2014 on this platform, where the movie no longer remains, unfortunately. It's a real shame. I was in my college dorm room watching way too late at night, and I fell in love with this film's themes, characters, and cinematography. You can now find it here, here, and here. Have you seen this film? Have you seen one that's similar to it? Do you like foreign films? Let me know, and thank you for exploring with me the story of...